of combination of resistance in parallel combination. The apparatus required for this experiment are battery, meter bridge, galvanometer, resistance box, one way plug key and resistance coils. Here the meter bridge consists of three points A, A point, this one B point, this one C point. In parallel combination we connect these two resistance coils in parallel. Here the first resistance coil consists of two terminal first and second and resistance coil second consists of two terminal first and second. Here first resistance coil and second resistance first coil comes to the gap first terminal of the gap and second terminal of the coil and uh, second terminal of the second coil comes to the another end of the gap next circuit the battery positive goes to a terminal then c terminal goes to c terminal goes to one way plug key one way plug key another end goes to battery negative the point b comes to galvanometer negative the galvanometer positive connected to jockey in a meter bridge uh, the one gap is connected to resistance box and another gap is connected to resistance coil in parallel combination. So next step, switch on the battery. Check out the opposite deflection in galvanometer. Right, put jockey on A terminal. Okay. The pointer deflect in left side. Put jockey on C side. The pointer in the galvanometer deflect in right side. Therefore, galvanometer shows neg opposite deflection. Therefore, our circuit is correct. So next step, remove point 9 ohm from the resistance box. Here. Resistance is in ohm, point 0.9 ohm. Again, check out the balancing length. Again, same procedure. Slide the jockey from point A. Here, galvanometer needle comes to zero. The balancing length goes to 42.1. 42.1 centimeter means converted to meter 0.421 meter for second trial remove 1 ohm and note down the balancing length for 1 ohm balancing length equals to 40 centimeter 40 centimeter means 0 0.40 meter resistance 1 ohm for next trial remove 1.1 .1 ohm again same procedure find out the balancing length as the galvanometer needle comes to 0 the balancing length equals to 38.3 38.3 means 0 0.383 meter 1.1 ohm next step calculation for first trial SL divided by what is the value of S 0 0.9 into 0 0.421 divided by 1 minus 0 0.421 here 1 minus 0 0.421 equals to 
zero point three seven eight nine divided by point five seven nine equals to point six five four. For second trial, S is equal to one into balancing length four forty one minus four zero one minus point four zero sorry. 1 minus 0.40 equals to 0.6. Uh, therefore, 1 into 0.40, 0.40 divided by 0.6 equals to okay, 0.66. So, for third trial, uh, 1.1 ohm balancing length 0.38. Over divided by one minus point three eight. One point one into point three eight. Point four one eight divided by one minus point three eight. Point six two. Point four one eight divided by point six two equals to. Point six seven four. Therefore, for trial one, R P is equal to point six five four ohm. For second trial, point six six seven ohm. For third trial, point six seven four ohm. Average value plus point six six seven plus. Point six five four divided by three. We get mean R P equals to point six six five ohm. Right. So next uh, theoretical value R P va R one value. We here we take R one one uh, two divided by one plus two. So two divided by three point six six ohm. Right. Here the exponential value equals to 0.665 ohm. Theoretical value equals to 0.66 ohm. Therefore, experimental value is equal to what? Theoretical value. Therefore, our experiment is correct.